Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Rebranded Gaming here, and welcome back. Last time we left off, we went into that cave, found some good stuff. We got the new blocky block ability. I don't know if the block's new, but, like, Perry's new. Um, yeah, we did four random trials, and now we're going here after we got Mr. Gate to move. So let's get going. Sorry about that. Anyways, we're, this is my third attempt at recording this. First, I don't... I don't remember what happened the first time. Oh, no, 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 no. What happened was I was having issues with Audacity trying to get that to record. Wasn't doing it. I just had to unplug my mic, and now it's working normally again. And then the other issue I had was OBS then didn't record my game sound, my game audio, after we crashed. So I'm like, oh, okay. So now we're just running through. We didn't get too far, thankfully, but still, I'm not happy with what happened there. And I don't think anyone would be. Oh my gosh, yes. That was stupid. Alright, kick you down. And we get a little fight in here. You know, that's kind of disappointing. I like... I keep saying it. I keep bringing it up. But I like the old, like, God of War where it'd, like, be the weird little face to come out and laugh at you kind of as you close the door. God. And I, I kind of like... It's weird because this is reminding me of, like, OG God of War right now where you didn't have multiple weapons, but it's just giving me a lot more of a new vibe where you can combo with different weapons. It's nice. I enjoy it. Wow. Brutality. And chop him up. little backswing. Anyways, let's get moving. Hopefully we don't crash again. I kick. Not grab, kick. Ah yes, the broken stair. Is it called the broken stair because we've got to traverse on broken stairs? I hope so. Oh, I missed. Alright, we got a little fat guys. Bat demons. And he's just like, I'm not participating in this. Well, I'm sorry, sir. But you are. Oh! Oh, yeah, I don't think we ran into it yet. Oh, no, it's down here. Okay. In the Vulgrim's Cave. I'm sorry, because I already ran through here. I remember, I know where some things are, like, we got a chest here, we got the... We got a chest down in there, and those are the only two important things down here, aside from actually meeting Bulgrim. Let's go. Yeah, and this should have a life shard, I think is what it's called. A life stone shard. That, yes. <laughs> And going down and back up and already got him there go this way to Volgrim hey buddy I don't like you goodbye yeah Volgrim location found greetings. yes the greetings now goodbye um smash you in the floor oh, hey we're full on life now Okay, let's keep moving. Ba -da -ba. Brutal. Uncalled for. Okay. Um Can't go up that way. We tried before. Broken stairs. I think I made a 
comment about how flying like this feels like T-posing. Ow! Yep, you're dead. Oh well. Get to this chest. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, let's keep running. And up. And up. And I feel like I should comment on this. Because I did it last time. So last time, in the last recording, I attempted to jump over that. Didn't actually make it. And I went to the whole tirade of powers of the child. Let's do that again. Why not? So yeah. Um, I remember as a kid... I would do random stuff, like, I, I was so shocked when games would end, back to God of War, the original, because can't let that one die, never can. But, yeah, no, and I remember when I got to the end, after playing the game, I think I spent probably a year or so on it, because I was, I was, like, I was young at the time, so I wasn't, the game was not at all meant to be played by a kid that is super uncoordinated like me. At such a young age. But I remember playing through and finally getting to the end. And I was shocked that the game actually could end. I remember going through trying to do everything differently at, from my last save. Trying to make sure the game wouldn't end. Like just trying to find something that I had to do to keep on going. And yeah, it, it was interesting to me realizing that. I don't think I realized that quite yet, but it, it did come to my attention that story, all games are stories and stories must come to an end unless it's a never-ending story, but even that came to an end. Very weird rant. But yeah, and so it was just me as a child. I, I, forget, I forget how I get the thing to aim in when I actually get this car. Never mind, I'm not getting that car. But yeah, and I was so shocked about that, and I remember feeling like stories shouldn't end, because technically stories never truly end. A story that ends is kind of weird, because it's like it's like saying so say it, say history. History is a story of everything that came before, and history has yet to end. Technically, we're still going through. I keep getting ow. Oh my gosh, he almost knocked me off. Yep, stay back. Nope. I think we're just gonna be my first actual death. Because this guy almost killed me last time. He didn't. Oh my gosh. Oh, he killed me. Wow, that is my first actual death. Okay. Uh, we started at last waypoint. Why not? Okay, so we're spawning back here, I guess. I don't know what I lost. Which is... Kind of interesting. Oh, there was something down here. I forgot about that. Yeah, I forgot to pick this back up. So not all was lost. But yeah. So, but yeah, as a kid, I remember remembering, well, thinking that stories could never end. Why would they? And then being sorely disappointed when God of War ended. I also related to that was when... Also, with me jumping there, trying to go to an area that I don't actually need to go to. Um, I remember when I was playing the LEGO Star Wars 2? 1. 1. Okay, I already got that, so I think it got rid of that chest. Let's go down. Pretty much I'm just now double-checking to see what happens if it retains. Okay, so I pretty much keep everything that happens when I that I collected between when I died. Which, nice. Thank you. Kind of sad I had to find find that out this way. I digress. Anyways, but yeah. So I remember when I was 
a lot. I think around that time. I think at that time I was probably seven. So I was playing. I was playing Lego Star Wars one. Yeah, it was one. It was episode one for three. Very weird. I don't don't I don't understand why that one was one. I mean I do, but I don't. I don't like you know what I yeah. Also, one one thing that I learned. So part five of episode three in the Lego Star Wars video game is actually supposed to be based off of cut content from Revenge of the Sith, where in Revenge of the Sith, they have scenes of Yoda and Obi-Wan returning to the Jedi Temple and fighting off clones disguised as Jedi. And I thought that was cool, and I'm glad I learned about that probably a year ago, because I was so confused why that was part of the game. And it seems like they probably knew about what was supposed to happen before the movie was actually released. And so they put that in there, not knowing that it wasn't going to make it into the movie. <laughs> I thought that was pretty cool. Anyways, but yeah, no, I remember playing LEGO Star Wars 1. Uh, episode 1, I think it was part 2. It's the part where you're on Naboo and you met Jar Jar. And it, I think it's pretty early on into the mission. Yeah, it's pretty early on, and you're going through... And you're supposed to just make it through the jungle. But I remember, I think it was the very beginning of that part, where you have to destroy the droid carrier, I think is what it's... The droid carrier thingy thing. And I remember, as a kid, thinking, oh, you don't have to go that way, you gotta go somewhere else. You gotta go try to get outside the bounds of the map, which I thought was technically part of the bounds of the map, but I was wrong. And I remember sitting there trying to get through there by attacking, by pretty much taking Jar Jar onto like one of the highest points I could reach. That was to the right? Yeah, was, if I recall it was like another area to the right. That I think is where you actually go for some random other stuff that isn't really actually important. I think it's like a collectible is it over there. But I remember sitting there and trying to jump over the wall for probably a year. I didn't actually I I didn't actually sit there and not progress through it for over a year. Well, I didn't progress through that, but I went through episode two and three when I was playing that as a child. Hey, we got him. But yeah, and while I was doing that, I spent probably a year on that one mission for episode one not being able to make it through because I thought you had to take Jar Jar and somehow jump, ti time the jump so perfectly that you had to jump jumped because he had the max jump height and then jump again so he'd do his weird little dodge and to throw yourself onto the ledge that would connect you to the outside the map. Oh, I was an interesting kid. Let me tell you. I don't think most kids would have thought to do that. Or they probably did. Who knows? Anyways, let's just drop all the way down. Hi, guys. But yeah, imagine being, like, young me thinking that, and being so confused. There's a reason why I, I'm not good at games, because I do stuff like that. Anyways, back upstairs. Oh, gotta go all the way up. And up, up, up we go, and we stop. No one knows. I don't know what I just said. Oh well. Bloody eye. And up we go. Alright, I've already seen this, so I'm probably going to be a little distracted. This way. 
It's nothing. Some demon trick. Ah, yes, a demon trick. I know what I saw. Nope, nope. You're blind. He's right. Uriel. It's there, beneath the stench of this place. You can sense it, ancient. From neither the White City nor the Black Depths, something lost between. Alright. This is about where we left off before I crashed. Well, my recording failed after we crashed, but... Helgard! Two arms! Slay him! Ah, yes. Stop me. Alright, here we go. And now we just do a weird little fight in the sky. And I'm flying around at the speed of sound. Alright, you're dead. But yeah, I don't understand why you wouldn't do what I just did there, of just holding it and taking out all of them at once. Through there! Alright, they're all gone. Oh, we got you two. And then we should get this guy. Fire! Okay, take care of him. We're good. And around and round and round we go. Oh my gosh, there's so many of them. No! Oh, there's more. They go. It's just telling me my primary weapon is this guy. Okay. Leave the gatekeeper alone! As I specifically target the gatekeeper! Jeez. Flying, flying, flying around. This is kind of cool, though.
Okay. Well. Get all the little guys! Dog things I, I keep grabbing onto in the flight. Yeah, we got it. Oh. Ow. Okay, good to know I got to shoot these things now. Let's fight them all. I don't know where we're going, okay. Get him. Something's probably gonna attack from behind, because I heard the sound. No, oh, more bugs. I feel like there has to be an achievement for either like not getting hit or killing everything in here or something. Target dragon. Oh, can't fire anymore. It's a bug. And not a bug's beetle either! Oh, it's the Twilight Cathedral, that's where we were headed. I totally remember that. Oh, okay. Tiamat, I assume? Probably. Guess she wasn't up for having visitors today. Oh, was that the thing that took me out? Was that Tiamat? Might have been. I don't know. You say Tiamat, and I think of like the weird, like, what is it, like, Seven Headed Dragon or something? Whatever, from old school Dungeons and Dragons show. That's just what I think of when I see Tiamat, when I hear Tiamat now. Just because I saw the image of once and I was like, yes. Alright, so we're now here at Twilight Cathedral. I think I'm, well, I mean, I want it. There we go. Anyways, yeah, I think I'm gonna call it an episode. Get out of here. Okay. But yeah, I think I'm gonna call it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you appreciated the video. Anyways, see you guys next time. Later.